First tonight, new information in the case that has drawn national attention, in fact, attention from all around the world, really. The coroner in Teton County, Wyoming, announced today exactly how Gabby Petito died and then also announced a time frame for when the homicide occurred. And the news actually broke this afternoon during a virtual news conference. WPTV News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes is live now with what we've learned. Ryan. And good evening. The coroner who performed the autopsy on Gabby Batito's body announcing today that the cause of death was homicide by strangulation. And he believes that she died three to four weeks before her body was found. The coroner also saying today that DNA samples were taken by investigators from Gabby Batito's body. And as you remember, Gabby and her fiance, Brian Laundry, they were traveling cross country right before she went missing. Laundry, who has been named a person of interest in the case, returned to Northport, Florida, Florida on September 1st without Gabby. Her body was found in a remote area of a Wyoming park on September 19th. That means, according to the coroner today, she was likely killed sometime between August 22nd and August 29th. Now, Laundry has not spoken with investigators, and he himself has been missing since last month, and there has been a massive manhunt trying to find him. Today, Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg says the cause of death that was announced means that murder charges will likely be filed in this case. But the big question is when. We're moving towards filing charges. The prosecutors are in no rush to file charges because once you file those charges, you have speedy trial rules and you have to try the case within 180 days. And so prosecutors are going to want to make sure they have enough evidence before they file charges. And tonight, the Laundry family attorney has released a new statement after the coroner's announcement this afternoon. It reads, quote, Gabby Petito's death at such a young age is a tragedy. While Brian Laundry is currently charged with the unauthorized use of a debit card belonging to Gabby, Brian is only considered a person of interest in relation to Gabby Petito's demise. At this time, Brian is still missing, and when he is located, we will address the pending fraud charge against him. End quote. This afternoon, the coroner also saying he will not be re he will not be releasing any new findings re regarding that autopsy report. Live tonight, Ryan Hughes, WPTV News Channel 5.